WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. From Indy's Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. Hey, good afternoon, I'm Mark Mullins with a look at your top stories. A statewide silver alert has been declared. Have you seen Cheryl Connor? Authorities say that she's been missing out of Hendricks County since Friday and is believed to be in extreme danger and may need medical help. If you know anything about her whereabouts, you're asked to call the Hendricks County Sheriff's Office or dial 911. Meanwhile, authorities say a manhunt is now underway in Howard County for this man, Scott West. The Sheriff's Office says it's looking for a man who escaped from work release recently. He was last seen wearing a black hoodie, blue jeans, and a gray sock hat. If you happen to see this man, you're asked to call the Sheriff's Office. That number is 765-457-1104. Lawrence police say they need help finding three people after an overnight police chase that started around one o'clock this morning with reports of a stolen car near 56th and Shadeland. Lawrence officers spotted the car and tried to get the driver to pull over, but they took off. The chase ended at the Timber Point Apartments off Fall Creek Road and Shadeland Avenue. Police did arrest the driver, but officers believe three others took off. If you have any information about what happened, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. All right, as we go forward here throughout the afternoon hours, there could be a hit or miss shower sprinkle, but otherwise just kind of damp and dreary conditions. Temperatures will be in the 30s, and then as we work our way into the overnight hours, maybe a flurry as temperatures fall below freezing, but we're not going to see anything that's going to cause any issues on the roadways. Tomorrow, think of it as a transition day. It's mostly cloudy still, so not a bright day, but at least we're dry with a high temperature that's right around 40 degrees. And then as we look ahead, finally sunshine returns on Thursday. Pretty mild uh, as we open the month of February as well at 53 degrees and then temperatures will stay right around 50 as we enter the weekend. Todd, thank you for more stories and weather you need to know. Just download the WRTV mobile app. I'm Mark Mullins. Thanks for joining us.